But first and new at 9:30, Tazewell County is still reeling from a cyber incident in November of last year, and now they're focusing up and following up on their progress to restore internet at last night's board meeting. And our Ben Free spoke to the Townsville County Board Chairman. He joins us live now in our studio. So Ben, what exactly did he have to say? Well, Rebecca, David Zimmerman says that the cyber incident that happened in Tazewell County back in November is nearly fixed, but the origin of that attack remains under investigation and may never be fully known. Outside of the county's internal internet, it's used for things such as requesting days off, as well as two-factor authentication for township assessors, Tazewell County is basically back up online. At last night's meeting, two emergency declarations were given by Zimmerman. The county's cyber insurance provider initially had incorrect data, so the board had to approve payment of additional premiums. Also, the board provided upfront costs for the insurance provider's response team. Those costs were ultimately reimbursed by the insurance provider. Zimmerman says that while the situation is nearly resolved, questions still remain. Now, we may never know where that, uh, the hacker originated, but according to our administrator, the report that they'll give to the county is 90% complete, and maybe when it's finished here soon, we'll have, uh, again, a better line of sight of where it came from. Now, the county board also accepted the resignation of Vivian Hageman at last night's meeting. Zimmerman now has 60 days to appoint a replacement under board approval. Rebecca.